Hey, this is John from New Earth Landscaping with another edition of New Earth News. Okay, so we're at property today and we're dealing with some English ivy on trees. Uh, folks, ivy is a great ground cover, but if left untouched, unmanicured, um, what can happen is it will grow wherever it wants to grow. It will climb up the side of houses, it will climb up downspouts, it'll, it'll go anywhere. It's a vine, it's a climber. Um, what happens is if left un, unattended to, it'll grow up trees. But what happens is it will not kill the tree, but ivy will weigh down a tree so much that it will fall, cause it to fall over from the weight. It also stops it from allowing the, the tree to produce flowers where it need, and leaves where it needs to produce. So, as you can see, you, got a, you had a whole bunch on these trees. We're going to cut it up to about five feet off the ground. What we don't get up into the trees, it will naturally die and disintegrate off. It will allow the tree to hopefully come back to life and allow more leaves to flourish. But, folks, if you have English ivy, Vinca, um, those are the, the two I'm really thinking of, but also uh, wild grape, if you have that on your property, if you have any type of plant that is a, a climber, you have to keep them maintained. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be dealing with serious problems down the road. It's not, e it's not hard to maintain it. You can use a weed whacker to trim around you know, two feet from the base of the tree to keep a nice ring there. You can also use a lawnmower. Uh, it'll cut it and, and keep it away. But the big thing is just keeping it under control. If you do that, it's an excellent ground cover uh, to, to, to bare spots and things like that. One of the downsides, though, of, of ivy or, or pachysandra or pinka or, or any ground cover is you do get ground mice, voles, moles. You can get. Uh, a lot of mud wasps inside there. So you gotta be, you know, every plant has its good sides and its bad sides. But, you know, just things to think about. Uh, so we're gonna get that done. And when we're done, when we're done, we'll show you what we've done and so you get a better idea and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, hey, it's John, we're back. We finished up with the job. We've cleared all the ivy. We, as you can see, we've cleared up to about six feet. We also cut around here we sprayed so that no ivy will grow around here. It's okay to let the ivy there, but if it's maintained like this, it won't grow up the tree. One thing you need to know is that when you have ivy that's left growing on a tree, these are basically little trees. Um, that's not healthy. Uh, this thing probably weighs about 20, 20 pounds, and just all started off of one little small piece of ivy. Here's another example of how it wrapped itself around the tree perfectly, and it all starts with just this one little sprout. So this, if left unattended, can turn into this. And because we found out that uh, this is the original owner who had the house, he passed away, um, we never did anything. So. This ivy that we cut away was almost uh, 60, you know, 50 to 60 years old, if not, maybe 40, but that's a lot. And because of it was left unattended, one tree has to come down because termites have infested it. Um, so we're done. Another job. Property looks good. Homeowners happy. We're happy. We'll see you next time on New York News.